Show off. Woohoo! Get some spinning. <laughs> yeah! Good morning and welcome once again to an MMO Anthropology. This is Bloom in World of Warcraft and in the Undercity, my favorite place in the all of Azeroth. Say hello, Bloom. There. there we go. Well, let's move out and take a look at the most recent uh, event that's going on in World of Warcraft, which is the Midsummer Fire Festival. Uh, let's. See. The courtyard, I believe, is over here. The Midsummer Fire Festival celebrates what is essentially the Northern Summer Solstice, which is celebrated in a lot of European, especially Northern European, uh, cultures, because it's important to, uh, for example, harvest and farming and, well, the function of the year. There's a set of NPCs now in the Undercity and in the major cities who are surrounding this lovely fire right here, this big blue blazing thing. Oh yeah, that is one of the things that you can do, and uh, you're going to watch me fail horribly at it, no doubt. Now let's turn our lovely little uh, HUD back on again and jump off the Wind Rider, so I can show you the different things that can be done. Tail Spinner basically... Uh, tells you about why the Flame Keepers exist, why there's the Fire Festival, and you can grab a quest for it. Flame, the Flame Eater has you do a contest called Torch Tossing. Basically, he gives you a torch to throw at the, the little flames behind us here, and uh, you're supposed to follow a particular pattern. You throw the torch at the little flame. When the arrow appears, you do it in the right order and you succeed. However, I'm not going to try that right now because, uh, well, got to keep the pacing of the video. One of the things that you receive during this event are little fire blossoms and you get them out of the daily quests, out of running basic things, and uh, you can use them to buy any number of interesting items. Amid those items, uh, there's these summer petals which you I think you just throw them into the air. They may or may not... Oh, I failed. May or may not deliver a buff to the people you throw them on. There's also some interesting food, especially elderberry pie, which if you listen to enough Monty Python, may or may not smell good. Midsummer sausage, which is probably a joke about uh, hot dogs, which are commonly consumed in the summer, especially in the United States. A cute little companion called the Captured Flame. Let's close that. That's getting... Which would take the place of my cute little phoenix, so I don't really want that at the moment. Ah, I think that might be a drink that lights you on fire. Nope, it causes you to breathe fire. Now, there's a number of things that do that. One of the most interesting things about this festival is that it calls upon you to run around... How close do I have to be? Oh, I was it was reaching through the fire and clicking on him. And find these flames in the various uh, capital cities and in uh, uh, the different regions of Azeroth and uh, pay homage to them in some manner, which I am currently forgetting. Uh, the As a result, you can receive an achievement for dealing with each of the different fires and one of the achievements is for running into the enemy's capital and putting their fire out. As a result, in some cases you might have a rogue or someone else rushing in the front door with their friends in order to douse the fire so that they can get the c components of that achievement. Yes, hooray! Of course, not only do they douse it, but they're here to take a component of the flame. And you get enough of those. Let's see if I can show that off. Uh, world events. So many. Midsummer. Bloom has done none of these. So, and here they are. But this is the desecration of the, the Alliance. Basically, you're supposed to run around extinguishing their flames. And uh, trying to, well, you know, take what's theirs. 
on a PvP server, you'd run into other people and they'd kick your butt while you were trying to do it. In fact, that's one of the few times that I've had one of my characters have, uh, well, their, their uh, bony ass handed to them by the uh, Alliance, being that I primarily play a Horde character, and it did, in a sort of way, it did make it a lot of fun trying to escape from them running like, uh, you know, r running rattling bones away from them. Oh, there's some fire breathing. It does say that he's a flame eater, so I suspect he might... I'd be afraid of what comes out the other end, frankly. Ah! Meanwhile, one of the events that's going to take place somewhat shortly, although not at the time of this recording, is there will be a fireworks display, since this is also the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, everyone, and that's why this episode is a little bit less uh, well-made than any of the others, and that's because I'm going to be running off to watch the fireworks very shortly. I will try my best to get a vision of the fireworks that occur, and I know that they pop up over Orgrimmar, and they may or may not pop up over the Undercity, which is, you know, of course, where I'm at right now. But I think this is a good, lovely perch to leave you guys. Let me haul around, take a look at the Windrider, our lovely little... Everyone, have an excellent day, and watch the fireworks. Have a great 4th of July. Good night and good dreams. Say goodbye, Bloom. Goodbye. See ya. I noticed some fireworks, but I wanted to show this off. This... Totally reminds me of a maypole. Oh, come on. Click on it. Don't click on it again. Come on. Show off. Woohoo! Get some spinning. <laughs> yeah! Uh, yep, I think that there are little fireworks being shot off. Yay! Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been another episode of MMO Anthropology. Behold the fireworks. Good night. Good dreams. Ah, oh, yeah.